let me show you why it is important let me show you why it is important that you have your own property in the uk no matter how hard no matter how difficult it is you must strive to making sure you have your own property in the uk apart from the fact that is an investment you know apart from the fact that you are just keeping your money somewhere like you are investing it and you get a dividend in the future apart from that you are not going to be able to continue to pay, pay someone else's mortgage going forward it is very very important i just stumbled on this particular calculations today and i was like okay wow you understand now take for instance you live in london here and you are paying 1600 for two bedroom flats to those of you that are familiar with london here you will know that 1600 pounds for a two bedroom flat you will even be lucky to get it you understand in some areas maybe maybe in, in some places depending on the condition of the house of the of the apartment it won't be less than 1600 pounds you understand now let's assume you are living in that two bedroom flat for one year you are paying 1600 every month for one year you will have paid 19200 for one year for one year for 365 days you will have paid 19200 pounds living in that flat you understand so in five years you would have paid 96,000. 96,000 pounds you would have paid living in that two bedroom flat. Don't you know how much you have helped the owner of that apartment to pay on his mortgage, on his or her mortgage for that five years, only five years old? So if you now decide to move out of that particular property tomorrow, someone will get it, you take the property, you get to start living in it for another number of years, and that person will continue. You understand now if you have taken your time to put 500 pounds together for five good years take for instance you are putting 500 pounds together every month you are saving 500 pounds every month you understand in one year you would have saved six thousand pounds in one year in one year you would have saved six thousand pounds in five years you would have saved thirty thousand pounds Thirty thousand pounds you will have said i know a lot of people will say oh it's not easy like that if your mind is in something to do just like a lot of people are running with it they run around their brain they dear and when you enter uk now why is it that your mind is not in trying to put 500 pounds together if it's to go to nigeria and flex and go to africa and flex and drink and do your mind go dead here i'm not saying to go flex to go realize your brain is bad it is a good thing but on this particular one as well if you are putting 500 pounds together at saving it saving 500 pounds every month in five years you would have saved six thousand sorry in five years you will have saved thirty thousand pounds and that thirty thousand pounds is enough to buy a property worth Two hundred and fifteen thousand. You will have been able to use that thirty thousand you save for a deposit outstandingly, and God will have blessed you the more if you are able to get a five percent deposit on that particular property you are purchasing. <laughs> but a lot of people will not understand this particular calculation. It will look like oh, it's too hard. Oh, it's too this. You can do it, and after another five years of you purchasing that property, the price of that property will not be the same after that five years so that deposit you are putting down you are going to get it back one way or the other even if you are not getting the entire 30 thousand pounds the joy the fact the notion the belief that you are living in your own house your own house we say you feel break and do this one this way nail this side break that side do your garden this way do your garage this way but in someone else's property in someone else's apartment you cannot do anything even if you put nail for wall at the end of your tenancy, if you don't remove that name and paint over it, you go lose part of your deposit. You understand? It is very, very important for you to make sure, say, you get something, something for UK. At the end of after, at the end of ten years, maybe after ten years, you you want to go and sell that property. You want to sell it. You will make certain amount of money from the property. It is as simple as that. So if you are new in the UK thing and you are a couple you are living together with your husband or with your wife you understand why don't you just curtail your excesses curtail your spending and be putting this money together you will discover that even before the end that before five years you have reached someone was talking to me yesterday the guy was able to save close to close to let me say seventeen thousand something within a year this is a single guy living in one room he was able to put money together the guy was telling me on the phone that I, 
he's not bragging, but he's just telling me he was confiding in me. That is what is exactly what it means to be hardworking and be very, 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 you know, prudent. You understand? You will need a property in the UK. I know London might be a little bit expensive. All you can get in London, hold houses, flats. Are you able to afford flats for 480000 500000 Start putting the money together today. You can start looking for job outside London. Those outside, outside of London that you are underestimating. Asa London is developing more than you think because what people are having in their head in this London is that, oh, Asa London, there is no job. Asa London, there is this. Asa, you, you don't reach there before. No, you don't reach there before to lose a job, no day. Some of you, if you go online, you will see that you will be able to find something substantial. Those of you that are working in, in, a, in a health line, when you are working in the health line, you are working in IT, you are working in some, some in companies, engineers who can work from different companies. You don't reach online before. You don't reach outside London before to know whether job day or job no day. We have been carrying this belief in our head that outside London, job no day. We have been carrying the beliefs. But let me shock you. I've been to several places outside of London. And I can tell you categorically that boys, guys, ladies, thick ladies, thick guys, they are doing tremendously well outside of London.